Hello, my name's the man from Del Monte. Welcome to Neocolonialism. So this is the video where I'm going to tell you how to make a Gemini site. Uh, I'm just going to do a local site on my local PC. The principle is exactly the same if you're going to do it on a web server. All you need to do is the DNS stuff, uh, a record pointing to your IP, or whatever, or an A record for a subdomain pointing to the IP of your server. Uh, that's really the only difference. Um, okay, yeah, so I've got a, I've got a big-ass terminal ready, so people don't complain that they can't see shit. Uh, let's make a Gemini site. So let's mukda Gemini. CD Gemini. So we've got a folder now for uh, we're putting our Gemini site in. Uh, and I'll make the index. So... So the uh, the file format for or the the uh, mime type technically for Gemini uh, is dot gmi or dot gemini. It's text slash gemini. But yeah, so any any pages that you want to appear on your Gemini site, uh, make them dot gmi or dot gemini. So we do index dot gmi. Uh, the formatting for this is really simple. So we can do pre-formatted text, like if we wanted to. to uh, Show a command or something like that. Uh, we can do level one headings, level two headings, uh, and level three headings. And we can do uh, lists. Mm. Oh, one more thing quoted text. This is all very similar to Markdown, but it's a very reduced version of markdown so uh, so that's something I said once so uh, pre-formatted text three levels of headings lists and uh, quote quoted text and the last thing of course is links so uh, a link a link is uh, indicated with equals and then the little angly bracket thing um, and then you just put the URL. So this the URL can be, if it's local to the site, a local URL. You know, you can go up a directory into the images folder and then something like that. Or it can be absolute. Uh, so if you're linking to want to link to my site, that's uh, you do that. Uh, they can link to other protocols. You can link to HTTP. You know, you can have a web link. You know, so, but yeah, I mean, links work like links, right? You know what a URL is. You can have relative URLs. You can have absolute URLs, and they go there. Um, if you link to an image, uh, most Gemini clients, I think, will just prompt you to download that image, and then it will just open up in whatever image viewer you've got. Same with a video. You can link to a video file that's you know hosted on the wherever you're serving uh, the Gemini site from. Uh, and if somebody clicks on that link or activates that link, it will, well, at least in, in my client, it, it says, do you want to open this in the usual player? I go, yes. And it opens up an MPB and it's lovely. That's exactly how I want it to work. Uh, the only other thing to know about links, so say if we're linking to uh, another Gemini, another Gemini document in the same folder. So we're linking to hello.gmi. Uh, after any URL in a link, you can put a description. Uh, and if you put the description, the description will show. If you don't, the URL will show. So this is where I say hello. So that's the simplest possible site, right? So let's, uh, let's delete all that and do a proper site. Oh, a proper, yeah, a very small proper site. So I'm going to use a toilet to make an ASCII banner. Um, I don't usually do ASCII banners. I know Hex has got a... Uh, Kind of like cool fonts and that. Uh, you can see where I was practicing there. So yeah, let's use that Paga font. I don't have any cool fonts or anything, so we'll just make that. So we'll copy that. Uh, we'll get back to here, and then this is we want this as pre-formatted text. So three little back ticks, paste that in. Three more little back ticks, and then we get, uh, and then we'll have a level one heading. We'll say the same thing because why not?
I really can't type. So there we go. I made a little, I made a little page and I've told everybody about myself. So we'll write that page. Uh, and then let's go into the Gemini folder there as well. So if you make a sort of bloggy thing on Gemini, people tend to just call it the log or gem log. So we'll make a log folder uh, and then we'll make an entry in the log. So uh, the standard way, uh, actually I'll call it whatever I want. I'll just, I'll just call it hello.gmi. Uh, first post, I have made a Gemini. Uh, site exciting uh, and that's that so then on our index page we'll add uh, a log section uh, this will be a second level heading uh, and then we'll link which is that to uh, we'll do an absolute URL you could just do I could just do log uh, I could do, I mean, a sub, yeah, I could, I could, I could do log anything that means, uh, you know, same directory go into the folder, but I might as well, I like to, I like to do the, the, the root thing. So, you know, everything's sort of relative to the root. I keeps it straighter in my head. So log dot was it? Hello dot GMI. Uh, and we'll give it the title. We put a date on it. So, uh, this isn't, you don't need to do this, but it seems to be an emerging standard way. If you're listing uh, a list of posts, put a date on them. And what's the date? It's 2021, I'm pretty sure. Uh, January, which is 01, and the 29th, which is 2 and then 9. And then first post. So we've done a link. That's all good. So we've got a couple of pages. I'll just. N and N, so you can see that we've got the index, we've got the log, where I keep my log posts, um, and that's all I've got at the moment. I will very quickly just do a so you can have a five icon. Uh, a five icon for those who don't know is the little icon that, that represents a web site in a web browser, like on a tab or in the address bar. Uh, but five icons in the case of Gemini are emoji. So what emoji shall we have to represent? Let's have a little rabbit. Oh, there we go. Got a rabbit emoji as our five icon. Okay, and that's it. I've made I've made a little Gemini site, but now we need to host it, right? So, um, I'm using a, I'm using a Gemini server called Agate A G A T E. Uh, it's very 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 simple uh, Gemini server that doesn't really have any features. It's just it just it serves static pages. That's all it does. Um, I'm going to do this in the simplest way. If, if, if Agate is in your package manager, you can just install it that way. In Arch, it is in the AUR. I don't think in Debian and Ubuntu it's packaged, so we'll just download uh, a release from the GitHub site. Uh, where you put, if, you, if you're doing a server properly, you want to put it somewhere in your path, and then you're going to call it via a systemd unit file or something. Um, doesn't, so long as you, what I would do is create a normal user and essentially just do what I'm doing. Just put the, some, put the agate uh, binary somewhere arbitrary, and then you call it from the systemd unit file, but run it as the user. You run it as the normal user. Keep things you know, relatively secure. So I'm, I'm going to follow my own advice. I'm going to make a bin folder inside my gem thingy. You probably don't want to put it there, but for the sake of demonstration, you can put that bin folder anywhere. I'm just going to put it there for now. Uh, so we've made a bin folder. Let's see the internet. Uh, and then we go to the World Wide Web, which is awful. Ugh, it's not even Gemini. Ugh. So let's search for Agate Gemini server. And then we find, uh, oh, I'll put Geminis. That's not right. There we go. Uh, GitHub.com, Mubrubrick, Agate. Uh, mub, mub, I don't know how to say that at all. So this is the Agate uh, GitHub site, which I will read the URL because why not? So github.com slash M-B-E-R-U-B-E-C-K slash Agate, but you can just Google it like I did, right? So let's go to the releases page. Uh, we're on x864 Linux, so that's what we want. Uh, agate.x864 unknown linux new 
uh, .gz. So let's copy the link for that. Go back into our bin folder and we'll get that. That has, that has, that has been we got. We, it's a .gz, so we gun zip it. Uh, and then we're just left with this binary. Uh, I'm going to rename it. So I'm just going to, rather than having that big cumbersome name, we're just going to call it agate. Uh, and then, of course, we need to chmod it so it's executable. Uh, which now been done. It shows uh, cyan in my terminal. So now we have the agate server. Right, what does it tell us to do with the agate server? So Gemini is a secure protocol. Um, you, there's no HTTP version of Gemini. There's just the HTTPS version of Gemini, uh, meaning that uh, you need you need a certificate. You need a key and a certificate to prove your identity to clients. But uh, from what I believe, uh, and if anybody knows more than, more about Gemini than me, I welcome correction. But it seems to be preferred that you just use self signed keys, which establishes um, enough it establishes enough trust between the client and the server to to, to be sure that you're not being man in the middle. Uh, if the server gets hacked then they can replace the keys and put like if the server gets hacked there's so many things that can go wrong anyway so it's self-signed keys seem to be sufficient uh on the agate site there's a little line here for generating self-signed keys these are not the most uh this isn't the most secure key you can do more secure keys uh you can google that right but this is this will generate keys so let's copy that command Paste it in my terminal, edit it a bit because we want to change. There's the uh, the domain that we're going to be serving on. So if you're if you are putting this on a, a proper web server, uh, make that the domain that you are using on that web server. For now, though, since I'm just serving locally, I will do localhost uh, and the rest. Okay, so all of this is about what kind of um, encryption to use on the key. Uh, this days is how many days the key is valid for before it expires. Uh, and the rest I barely understand. So if you want to find out about that stuff, you can find out on your own time. So we generate a couple of keys. I put them in the bin folder, the same place as the agate server uh, binary. Uh, so we've got, the, we've got the binary, and we've got a couple of keys that are, that, that, that are for a particular domain, in my case, localhost, which is fairly meaningless. Um, and then you run the server. I'll zoom in on this. So this is how you run the server. You call the server. Uh, you point to the content, i.e. where is the site that you want to host. You point to the keys. Uh, you specify addresses that you want to serve on. Uh, you give a host name and a language. Right. So for most of these, you can just leave them on the default. Uh, if you generate more secure keys and they're both like pen files or something, you might want to point to the keys and the, the key in the cert. Uh, these you can leave on default because it defaults to 000, i.e. it will serve on any IP that can reach it. Which is fine. Uh, host name, I don't think you need to specify. Uh, I might be wrong about that. There might be a reason for doing that, but I, I can't see a reason for doing that. And language ENUS, fine, right? That's well, assuming you are serving in English. If you're serving in a different, completely different language, then you know you know what to do. So I'm just going to use default settings because all all of these defaults are correct for me. So I'm just going to specify the content path. Right. So let's go and run Agate. So we're running Agate. Uh, this agate is not in my path, which is why I'm doing um, the dot before it. If you put it in your path, you don't need to do that. And uh, where I forgot, I forgot where I put this folder. Home view Gemini. Okay, so I can I can just do that, right? So I'm just uh, so I'm calling agate and I'm saying the content is in a slash Gemini. That's the oh, that's not right. Oh, oh, I've already got a, I've got a server running. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now, now I'm serving content uh, from that Gemini folder. So if I open up my Gemini brow um, browser, make the terminal biggie. So Amphora is the client that I'm using, and we point it at localhost. Uh, oh, the certificate chain because I was serving before. Uh, you won't get that. And there we go. There's my glorious. Gemini site. We've got my beautiful fav icon rabbit. Uh, we've got my uh, bannery thing. We've got my title. We've got a list of things that I like. 
and then we can have a look at my uh my blog post uh and then we are i haven't made a gemini site i excite thing and it is it is exciting ging, ging, ging. and that's really it um obviously i've kind of glossed over you know the details of running the server but uh this this website's pretty clear uh, you generate your keys, you point the server at your keys. If you want to specify the addresses you want to serve on, both IPv6 and IPv4, and if you want to specify the host name, and if you want to specify the language, you can do so. Um, agate dash dash help will tell you all the things you need to know. In fact, let's uh, do that. Uh, there we go. That's my terminals a bit thingy, but... There we go. That tells you the things you need to know. So you could optionally specify whatever you want to specify. So what you do is you get the binary, put it somewhere sensible, um, generate the keys, put them somewhere sensible, uh, run the server, point it at the keys if necessary, because it defaults to the same directory with specific names, so I didn't need to specify that, but specify that where the keys are with a key and cert. Uh, Specify where the content is, you will need to do that, and then just let the thing run and you can connect to it as we can see. Uh, let's run it again. And, it, and there it is running. There's a server running, I'm connecting to it, and it's showing me my site. Uh, if you are running this on a proper web server, you're probably, probably using systemd, so you want a systemd unit file. I did write this, Agate doesn't come with a systemd unit file, it's super, super simple. Uh, I wrote a system to unit file uh, for it. So it's very simple. So you just want description, whatever you want, agate, agate, Gemini server. After network target, because it's a server, so there's no point in coming up before the network is up. Uh, user, specify the user you want it to run as. So I do recommend running it as a normal user. So wh wh in whatever normal user's folder you put the stuff, run it as that user. Type equals simple, because uh, it is. Uh, and then the exec start is where you call the binary. So you, you put the path to the binary wherever you've put that. Um, dash S will make it silent. Uh, it won't output anything, which, you know, why not? Uh, point it to dash dash content, point it to the content wherever that is with the absolute path, and then point it to the key and point it to the certificate. Uh, and then install wanted by default target. This is a very simple unit file. It's basically the bog standard unit file. It doesn't really do anything clever. Uh, and then you can manage um, you can manage uh, agate with uh, systemd. So in order to, I don't actually, this isn't my server where I've installed it, but so you do sudo systemctl start agate, or you can add the dot service if you want. So you start agate dot service, uh, and then oh, I didn't actually execute that, did I? So it didn't. Uh, so then you. Start it, that starts it running, and then if you want it to come up on boot. I'll be thrown for a loop by, by not being able to play, press uh, control P to get back. So, so that one will start it, and uh, I'm, oh, I'm an idiot. So that one will start it, and then enable Oh, that's annoying. Uh, that one will start it, and enable will make it run every boot. So every time, every time the server reboots, if the server reboots, the your agate server will come back up, and you'll always be able to visit your site. And that's pretty it. That's it, right? It's really, really simple. Uh, I want to have a look at my site again because it was pretty cool. It's beautiful. I'm quite proud of that. Uh, not as good as you know my actual one. That's my actual one. Friendo dot monster. Uh, I'm clearly just like advertising my site. Look at that. Beautiful owl. Things to read. All people linked to this Chris Ware, whoever that is. Hex DSL. No idea who that is. Uh, but, you know, go and see what their sites are all about and get on. Get in Gemini space. Make yourself. So I'm just, host, I'm just hosting mine on a $5 a month uh, digital ocean droplet. And I'm also hosting my website on there. This this stuff is all so low resource that you know that's plenty. That's never going to be a problem. So yeah, just get yourself a digital ocean droplet, SSH into it, make yourself a normal user, download Agate, and then just follow what I did. It's super simple. 
Oh, and when I when I update my site, my actual actual site, so let's close that. Uh, go back home, and then so my actual Gemini site is here. So say I edit this file, type 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 blah blah blah. Uh, what I then do to update it, I've got a little script. I made a script; it wasn't really necessary. Make this biggie. Uh, so the script, is, the, the, the script is called upgem. All it does is R syncs. So R syncs uh, dash lowercase a uppercase p. So that's archive mode, and p is like progressive. So it will only update. It will only upload things that have changed essentially. Uh, and I tell it where to uh, get it from. So my local Gemini thing there. Uh, and then mouse is uh, an alias in my SSH config. So mouse is the, the web server that I'm using. Uh, and then it just it goes into home friendo Gemini. Uh, so it just copies any change files there. So I, I mean, I can actually run that. Won't do anything because uh, nothing's changed. So it just, yeah, sending increment file list and then it's immediately updated. It's so fast. It's so easy. It's everything static. It's like It's like the internet should be had it not taken a wrong turn. Uh, and get on it, yeah. Make 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 Gemini sites, and then tell us about them, and we'll link to each other, and it'll be a lovely community of Gemini sites where we're all talking about our own things and linking to each other. Um, I'm sure my hexes and Chris's Gemini site uh, URLs will be in the description. Your hex will take care of that because he's a good boy, uh, and I'm going to go for now. I love you. Goodbye.